Old people are pretty great. I mean, they told the knowledge and wisdom of a lifetime. But how old can a human actually live to be? Well, it's difficult to say, but we do know that the average life expectancy has been increasing throughout the past century or so. Nowadays, it's pushing 73 years. Back in 2000, that number was closer to 67. And prior to the 1960s, this was more like 55 or 60. Now, of course, how old you will live to be depends on many factors. For example, location. More developed areas have a greater life expectancy. The highest today being Hong Kong, China, at over 85 years. Also, if you're a female, you're in luck. It appears that the average life expectancy for women is consistently five or six years higher than for men. But those are all averages and estimations. Let's look at the actual oldest verified people. The oldest of the old, the wisest of the wise, if you will. A good place to start is centenarians. These are individuals who have surpassed 100 years of age. It's unknown who the first 100 year old was, but whomever it was, it's quite an achievement. In the United States alone, there's estimated to be a little under 100,000 living centenarians. And that's actually quite impressive implying that for every 3,400 people, at least one would be 100 or older. But there's another term, super centenarian. These are individuals who reach an age of 110. Currently, there's only a, a few hundred of them on Earth, and only about one in a thousand centenarians live to be super centenarians. The first 110-year-old ever is considered to be Thomas Peters, who hit 110, way back in 1855. But that's not totally verified, and sometimes the first 110-year-old is claimed to be this guy with an unpronounceable name who hit 110 in 1898. So that's all cool, but the real journey begins in 1955, when the Gerontology Research Group began actively recording the world's oldest people. At the time, it was a woman named Betsy Baker, who lived to be 113. And for the 1950s, this is very impressive. In fact, 113 was the limit at the time, as it was the oldest age ever achieved by anyone. She died in October of 1955, but remains as the second verified person in history to reach 113. And this record would hold for quite a while, because after Baker died, the torch went to Jane Howell, who became the oldest verified person at 110. She died one year later, and the next oldie became Anne Marie Carsonson, who was only 107. From late 1956 to early 1957, the oldest person on Earth was only 107, which is pretty young for today's standards. It also means that there were no verified super centenarians during the late 50s. We wouldn't see another person reach 110, until October 2nd, 1959. And the next person to reach the current record of 113 was Mary Kelly of the USA. Mary Kelly held the title of the world's oldest person for over five years, from 1959 until 1964. But unfortunately, 113 remained the limit. She died at an age of 113, 206 days, outliving Betsy Baker by a few months but the world was still waiting to see someone reach the mythical age of 114. Was it even possible? Well, on March 6th, 1965, the oldest verified person became a man named William Fullingham. What's this? The oldest verified person on Earth was a man? Pretty incredible, considering men have a significantly shorter lifespan than women, as previously mentioned. To put it in perspective, though, the top 20 oldest people right now are all women. Fullingham died a month after his 110th birthday, and was replaced by a 109-year-old Hannah Smith. She reached 110 as well, but died three days later, and was replaced with another man. Apparently, men just lived longer in the 1960s or something, I don't know, but when he died in 1968, the oldest age kind of just hovered around 111 for a while. 
But then came Josefa Salas Mateo. Hope I'm saying that correct. She took the crown at age 109. But on July 14th, 1970, she celebrated her 110th birthday, becoming a super centenarian. But this date was pivotal because from this point forward, there has always been at least one super centenarian on Earth. Basically, 110 had become a prerequisite to claiming the spot as the oldest person on Earth. In fact, ages in the 70s were consistently higher than those in the 60s. Ages above 111 were frequently achieved. But the record still stands. 113, that age simply could not be surpassed. We reached a new historical high in 1981 when Fanny Thomas died at 113, 283 days. Then we had Nellie Spence, who hit 113 in 81 days, followed by Elma Wilson at 113, 154 days. My goodness, can we just get to 114? Well, yes we can, because then we got Matthew Beard, the third man on this list. He became the oldest person on Earth after Emma Wilson, and on July 9th, 1984, he became the first human in history to hit 114. It had finally been done. 113 had been surpassed, and it was a guy, rather shockingly. Another interesting fact, he was also the first verified person to live for a million hours. Pretty incredible. But now the question stands, is 114 the limit? Well, once he died in 1985, the oldest human became Augusta Holtz, who was 113. But she later became the second person to reach 114, and then, on August 3rd, 1986, she became the first person to reach 115. Another record had been broken. And maybe this was the limit. Maybe a clean 115? Well, it would seem to be the case for a while. At least until the 1990s. On January 11th, 1988, the title went to a young French woman by the name of Jeanne Calmar. She took the crown at age 112, which is getting a little young at this point. But while the previous Aldi only held the title for two weeks, Karma held it for nearly a decade. I mean, can you even imagine what it would be like to spend a decade being the oldest person on Earth? This also means that she crushed the 115 record. Not only did she turn 116 in February 1991, she also hit 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, and on February 21, 1997, she celebrated her 122nd birthday, cementing the title as the oldest person in history. She upped the previous record by seven years. She was so old that when the Great Depression hit, she was already in her 50s. There's no saying what the limit is at this point. And yes, to this day, she is still the oldest verified person in history. And she's still the only person ever to even surpass 120. No one else has even come close to hitting 122. It's almost suspicious. I mean, can we really trust this nice old lady? Well, we probably can, but either way, after she died in 1997, things were different. Old had a new definition. If humans could push ages in the 120s, that means people in their 60s could still have half their life ahead of them. The next pioneer of old people was Sarah Naus of the USA, who reached 119. And for a long time, she was considered the second oldest person in history. She died on December 30th, 1999. And I've always found it mildly humorous that she missed Y2K by like a day and a half. But oh well. Come the 2000s, the oldest person was Eva Morris at 114. And things seemed to calm down a bit. And we kind of hovered around 114 for a while. We wouldn't see our next 116 until 2005. And the next 117 year old wasn't until 2015. I feel that I should mention Emma Tillman, who became the oldest human on January 24th, 2007. 
and died on January 28th, 2007. Meaning, she only got to be the oldest person on Earth for four days, and then she died. That's a bummer, but she did set the record for the shortest time with that title. In December 2012, Dana Manfredini held the title for 13 days. And after she died, the title was given to this guy, whose name I will not try to pronounce. And he is the most recent instance of a man holding that title. And then he passed away in June 2013, at an age of 116, but left with the title as the oldest verified man in history. By the mid-2010s, age 115 seemed to be the new trend. They were getting pretty common. In fact, ever since August 26, 2010, there has always been at least one verified human at or above age 115. Ages have been continuing to increase. April 15th, 2017 was a significant day in history. It was the day Emma Morano died. She was born all the way back on November 29th, 1899, making her the last living person from the 1800s. Can you imagine realizing that no one alive right now existed in the same century that you were born? That's pretty crazy. But from this point forward, everybody on Earth has been born at least in the 1900s. But now we're getting pretty recent, so let's see who's left. Violet Brown from Jamaica, 117, died September 2017. Nabi Shajima from Japan, 117, died April 2018. Shio Miyako, 116, also from Japan, died July 2018. Then we got Kane Tanaka, also from Japan, 115. But wait, she held the title for quite a while, reaching 116 in 2019, then 117, then 118, and finally hitting an age of 119 on January 2nd, 2022. She was the third person in history to hit 119. And she was the third oldest person in history at the beginning of this year. But then on April 9th, 2022, she tied and then claimed second place from Sarah Naus. Now, if she could just live another three years, she would take the record as the oldest person in history. But no, no, that didn't happen because she died 10 days after claiming the second place spot. Oh well. Looks like Jean Chalma remains the record holder for the time being. But looking at the trend over time, it's clear that the human lifespan is going up, so it may not be long until we see someone else take the number one spot. Following the death of Tanaka on April 19th, 2022, the title has been given to Lucille Randon, a French nun who is currently 118 years of age. 118 is actually the oldest someone has ever been when claiming the title as the oldest. Currently, she is the fourth oldest person in history. Also, February through April of 2022 was the first time in history in which there have been two people confirmed to be 118 plus. So now that we've taken this journey through the elderly, I suppose we should take a moment to acknowledge the people who have not been validated, and have perhaps missed their chance to take the title as the oldest person. As we've seen, the accepted age record is 122, but a quick Google search for an age of 123 will yield plenty of results, including a 123-year-old yoga instructor who doesn't look a day over 65 and the 128-year-old man who claims to be Hitler, and a guy who apparently lived to be 256. But these are all alleged, not verified. I will leave it to you to decide what to believe. But in the meantime, all we can do is wait. But we can attempt to predict the future a little bit. The median time period that someone in the past has been the oldest person for is 231 days, but there's a ton of variation, and it also depends a little on the age the person was when they became the oldest. Because Randon is already pushing 118, it's likely that she will not be the oldest person for very long. 
I'd say the chances are pretty good that she'll live to the end of 2022, probably reaching 119, but I'd say beyond that is unlikely. And the individual who will likely take her place is this person, whose name I do not know how to pronounce, but she actually has the same birthday as me, so I'm kind of hoping she takes the crown next. We can also consider where our lives will extend to from here. If we plot the age of the oldest person reached by the number of years since 1955 and fit a simple linear regression model to it, what we find is that the oldest age increases by one about every 9.27 years on average. Also, I am ignoring Jean Calma from this model because she is a statistically significant outlier. But ignoring her, this model tells us that the first person to reach age 125 will most likely be someone that was born in the 1950s or 1960s, most likely around 1968, so they could already be alive. And the first person to reach 130 is most likely someone born in 2009. But these are estimates. Outliers like Jeanne Calma lead me to believe that we could be seeing these ages even sooner. I'd say it's likely the first person to hit 135 is already alive as well. Now of course, human lifespans have to slow down at some point. There is a limit, it's not infinite. Only time will tell, however. So I hope you enjoy this video, and if you're young, I hope you have a long life ahead of you. And if you're not so young, I hope this video made you feel a little younger.